Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm very excited because I've got another tag to do today and the one I'm doing today is called Are You Like Jane Austen? Now this was created by Shelley Swearingen who's a fantastic booktuber. I've got to know a little bit recently. She's really bubbly, really energetic so if you're not subscribed to her already please jump over and go and see what she has to offer because her videos are fantastic. Now this is an original tag that she has um, created herself so I will link that below. Now, the reason behind her doing this is because she um, read some of the Jane Austen's books and actually didn't get on very well with them and was like, well, what's going on here? You know, Jane Austen's wonderful, everybody loves her. So she decided to read a non-fiction book about Jane Austen to find out all about the lady behind these brilliant works um, to see if that sort of put it all in context. And I thought, what a great idea that is. So having done that, she then set up this tag. And if you go to that video, and I'd highly encourage you to do so, for each of these questions that I'm going to do, she actually gives you information about Jane Austen, the lady herself. And it's really interesting. Some of the bits of the information I knew already and some of them I didn't. So really, really recommend you do that. Now, we know that Jane Austen July is now done, but let's face it, we all love Jane Austen all through the year. So I'm not gonna tag anybody um, directly because Shelley actually um, tagged a huge list of people and I'm very thankful to her for adding me to that list. So here we go. Now it's a little bit different because you do the question and then you get a point um, for whether you are like Jane Austen or not. And then we get a point total at the end. So. Here we go. Question number one. Jane Austen was an artist and a writer. Give yourself a point if you're an artist. Now, when I read this, I thought, well, actually, I'm not an artist and I'm not a writer. But when I saw Sh um, Sherry do this tag herself, she then went on to say how she makes things creatively. And I thought, well, actually, I do make quilts. So I've got one here to share with you today. So I don't know if you can see that. Ooh. <laughs> completely cover my cover my face but so I do make quilts not that we have a great use for quilts in Singapore with it being so hot but I do love that although I haven't done it quite so much recently but I made that um in the last year so yeah so I guess I get a point for question number one question number two Jane Austen was born to a large family she had one sister and six brothers give yourself a point if you have three or more siblings well I only have one brother so no points for that one question number three Jane Austen did not enjoy her formal education give yourself a point if you didn't care for school well, I'm afraid I loved school. I was one of those people that I really did. I really enjoyed learning and um, I loved the sport at school and I loved the social aspect of school, um, being amongst my friends. And I think in the recent pandemic, and we've had remote learning here in Singapore back in June and you can see that the children were really struggling actually with not having the social aspect of school. So sorry, Jane Austen. I don't get a point for that because I did enjoy, enjoy my education. Question number four, dark humour is weaved through Jane Austen's writing. Give yourself a point if you have a grim sense of humour. So I don't think I can have a point for this one either because no, I, um, my sense of humour is pretty daft actually. <laughs> pretty light, simple. Um, yeah, so I, and I tend to, I suppose, go more on the play on words with my humour. Um, so no, I don't really think I have a dark sense of humour, so no points there either. Um, question number five. Jane broke off two engagements and died a spinster. Give yourself a point if you are single. So no, I'm actually very happily married and have been for 25 years. So no, don't fall into that category either. So that's, I think that's four, four questions in a row that I haven't scored any points on so far. Now, question number six. Jane Austen experienced low periods or spells of depression. Give yourself a point if you've struggled with mental health. Now, I wouldn't say I'd um, struggled with depression, but definitely had a low spell in my life. Um, in my 20s, when I was a young, keen bean teacher, um, 
I got um, post-viral chronic fatigue and that was definitely a low spell because I ended up having to have a year off work and that was the most strange experience because um, it just didn't get better. And I completely played with my mind because I'd, if I'd grown up with, if you're unwell, you go to the doctor, doctor gives you medication, you get better. And this was the complete opposite. Every time I went to the doctors, they did, they did blood tests, found nothing, tried to change my diet, found nothing, um, and just kept sending me away saying it's a virus and just got to wait it out. And um, it was very hard because I'd started going away with medical certificates to say that I could be off work for a, a week, which already was like a, a week off work. And then it became a two week certificate, then it became a month certificate, then it became a two month certificate. And this was incredibly, hard for me and I found it quite hard when people would say oh you're looking really well and I'd be like well that's thanks and um I really know that you're well-meaning but um actually if I walked from one end of the street to the other I'd probably have to be in bed for two days and um so I I couldn't get my head around this I couldn't process properly and so that was definitely a low spell and I really felt myself wanting to almost have a broken arm and a cast so people could see see something visible and you could compute that that was what was wrong and it was going to get better on this time scale so yeah and i just was going to say really that um this weekend i was talking with my kids about mental health and i think it's fantastic the way in their age they talk so freely about it um which we didn't have when we were growing up and you know if anybody is struggling with mental health please know there is somebody there who you can talk to um it might not be um, a member of your family. It could be somebody removed from your family, but please know there is somebody there and um, and it could be virtually, of course, now as well that you can talk to somebody. It doesn't have to literally be in the same, in the same room. So yeah, just wanted to, just wanted to put um, that out there. So question seven, Jane Austen moved away from her childhood home in her twenties. Give yourself a point if you've lived away from your childhood home, town or region. So I was almost thinking of asking Cheryl if I could have extra points for this one with the amount of places I've lived in. But yes, um, I grew up in Suffolk in England, in the east of England, but I went to university in Sheffield in the north of England. Um, as part of my degree, I lived in France for a year. Um, I think I've mentioned before on this channel, we have lived in Switzerland for five years, Holland for a year, went back to England for 18 months, but then went off to um, New Zealand for three years and have lived here in Singapore for eight and a half years. So, Sherry, I really think I should get a bonus point for this one. <laughs> but okay, I'll play by the rules. Um, question eight. Jane Austen was not vain. Give yourself a point if you have very little interest in vanity. Now, of course, I think everybody would like to say, no, no, I'm not vain, I'm not vain at all. Um, but I suppose, you know, I suppose I am a little bit. I mean, do I go past the mirror without checking that I look all right? No, probably check. Do I try and keep my hair, you know, nice? Yes. Do I try and wear clothes which are flattering and appropriate for my age? Yes. Although she says wearing a plain um, black t-shirt at the moment. But so... Yeah, I guess, I guess if you had a scale, I'm not right down the far end. Like I don't spend my whole time um, thinking all about those things. I don't spend a lot of money on it and I don't um, take loads of selfies, but do I try and look nice? I suppose, yes, I do try. <laughs> so I guess, um, so that does that mean, no, that means no points, no points for that one. Question number nine, hair was of, little interest to Jane Austen. Give yourself a point if you cannot be bothered with your hair. Well, this is an interesting one because I don't think I spend very much time on my hair and my um, hairdresser would agree. She's horrified because I only go to the hairdressers twice a year and that is to have my highlights redone, topped up and to keep the grey at bay. And, um, and then I get a cut and my hairdresser tells me every time that I should be having it cut a lot more often. And I say, I know, I know, but I don't find the time to do it. <laughs> so in that sense, I'm not, but yes, I come on my hair. Yes, I straighten it because it gets really, really frizzy here in Singapore with the heat. So in that sense, um, I spend a bit of time on it. So I guess 
that is, um, I would say it wasn't, wasn't a lot. So, and I've had the same style for years and years and years and years. So maybe that's one point. And lastly, Jane Austen expressed her distaste for hot weather. Give yourself a point if you dislike the heat. Well, I live in Singapore. We have 30 degrees heat every single day of the year. It is near 100% humidity. Now, although I don't like the humidity, we've learned to live with it, And um, but I do like the sun. And um, if I had to choose between a hot climate and a cold climate, I would definitely go go hot. I do not like feeling cold. Um, having, even having lived in Switzerland, where sometimes it was minus 19 degrees when we lived out in, up in the mountains. So I definitely prefer the heat. So in that sense, um, no points. Now, once you've done these um, 10 questions, you add up your points. And if you pop over to Sherry's channel, she's got all the different categories of what these your points total means. And I score the grand total of four. <laughs> so mine says, though you have less in common with Jane Austen than some, you could probably spend an afternoon with her chatting about your similarities and differences. I have to say, I would really love to do that. I would love to talk to Jane Austen. Um, mental health, we just talked about that. I would love to have a conversation with her about um, mental health and how she could represent that in her books or has she represented it in her, in her books? Um, that would be an interesting conversation. I'd also love to talk to her about the romance. Like we said, she remained single. So why did she feel that she didn't want to be um, engaged, married, have that commitment and how she portrays the romance in her book. So I'd love to have that conversation um, with her. So yeah, and I guess another one is also education because being in education myself, now I guess I would love to talk to her about the pros and cons of formal versus informal um, education and her viewpoints on, on that as well. So there we go. Do feel free. I'm sure Sherry would love it if you did this tag and answer these questions. Um, thanks, Sherry, again, for tagging me and all your support that you've given me for my channel. And um, I will see you again very soon. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.